On April 19, 2012, Fox 23 in Tulsa, Oklahoma reported that a Muskogee woman purchased an Enjoy One Joy electronic disposable cigarette and then upon opening the package, it exploded in her face, causing physical injury and damage to her home. Uh, upon reading that story and seeing the video that accompanied it, I thought it would be a good idea to do some testing of my own to see if her claims could actually be true. The following video is the result. I'm an old lady, and I bought this here Enjoy at the Walmart's because I don't want to quit smoking. I'm going to try and open it even though I got arthritis. I'm farming smoke it. I'm gonna test this here. Enjoy. I'm gonna drop it and see if it explodes. I'm prepared. Oh, it didn't. And here we go with drop two. Third time's the charm, kids. Stay in school. And it still works. Now we're going to run it over with a Jeep. Than being a little deformed, you'll notice it's cooled off again, and still vapes. All right, next test we're going to try puncturing it. I've got a saddle valve here. It's going to hopefully short the battery and see what it does. As you can see, the battery is warming up. This is punctured with the saddle valve. But as yet, no fire or flame. Alright, here it is with the puncture removed. You can see the hole through the casing. And... Got up to about 118 degrees and then cool back down. Alright, next we're going to take an Enjoy and we're going to put it in the toaster. We're going to set it to broil, which will get about 500 degrees, and we'll see what happens to it then. And of course we're outside because I don't want to burn up my house. Temperature reading. Uh, right now is 89 degrees. After 30 seconds. Oh. 
hold my hand. Ten degrees through the glass, so there you go. Temperature and battery. It's two hundred and about three hundred degrees. All right. Well, as you can see, it did kind of a, give a little bit of explosive off gas there at about three hundred degrees of heat. However, it wasn't even enough to really to rattle this very flimsy door on the toaster. Uh, so again, I'm doubting the claims of that woman who says that it actually knocked over a lamp and a uh, decorative wall hanging across the room. So, there you go. That's about 300 degrees of heat. Alright, this last test I'm going to... I removed a battery from the actual cylinder itself and I've connected two leads to it, one positive, one negative, and I'm going to short the battery and see what happens. Alright, so the pan was causing some reflective issues with the actual temperature reading. But, you can see it's, it's warm to the touch, but it's not ridiculous hot, and it is connected to short out the battery, so... Well, this little battery um, briefly did get warm to the touch, uh, as you can still see, it's connected, um, but it's not hot by any means and did not melt or do anything, so can't really do a short circuit test, at least not on this one. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, little batteries, like the Enjoy One Joy, can explode. Um, however, the likelihood of that happening under normal conditions is pretty slim. Um, the only way I could get it to happen was to cook it in a toaster on broil, which is full heat. Um, took about two and a half minutes. Um, there are other signs that it's going to go boom before you get to that point. Uh, melting, uh, extreme heat to the touch, um, and whatnot. So I'm not really buying the lady's story that all she did was open the package and the thing exploded. And even though I could get a battery to vent uh, explosively. Um, it, it did it with some force, but not really enough force to knock over a 15 pound lamp or to knock over uh, a painting um, that's on the wall across the room. So, just not buying it. Um, so, enjoy, one joy, um, similar to the other many batteries. Um, there's just not enough energy in them to really do a lot of damage uh, under normal conditions. Other than that, the only other thing I can think about this is that it tastes like shit. Well, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. I can't understand you. <laughs>